Hey, it's Kelsey, and we are going to go over how to build a full body workout at home. So you don't need a ton of equipment or any equipment at all to get in a great full body workout. There are just a few different type of elements that you wanna focus on to make sure that you're hitting every single part of your body. So here are a few different types of exercises that you wanna focus on. You wanna get in a pushing exercise, pulling, squat, hinge, core, and then it's also a great option to include some higher intensity exercises to really get your heart rate up. So I'm going to show you some examples of all of these things so you can build your own workout at home. So first, let's go over pushing exercises. So a very simple one that you can do for this is a push-up. So all you need to do, get on the ground, stack your shoulders over your hands, and bring that chest to the ground. Now, these are a moving plank. You want to make sure you're keeping your core tight, your glutes tight as you bring your chest to the ground. Now, a simple way that you can modify this if you can't get a full push-up, just do it at an incline. So I'll show you right here. All you need is like a couch or a chair. Put your hands at an incline. It takes off some of the resistance, but simulates the full motion of a push-up right in there. And that is a great pushing exercise. Now, second, let's go into pulling. Pulling exercises are really gonna work your back muscles, and it can feel a little bit more challenging to be able to get those movements in when you don't have any equipment, but it is possible. So if you do have a little bit of equipment at your house, you can do dumbbells, but if you have a band, that's a great option for pulling exercises. So I'll show you some pulling with a band, and if you don't have anything at all, I'll show you something commonplace that everyone has at their house that you can use. So the first thing that you would do if you have a band, put it right around your wrists. We're gonna do some bent over rows. So you just hinge at the hips, Make sure you're getting tension on the band, pulling it apart. You can't really tell, but I'm pulling it apart. <laughs> and then you're gonna row in, keep your elbows in tight, and you wanna be feeling that in your lats. You could also do this with a t-shirt. So let me grab that right here. You could use a t-shirt, you could use a dish towel. And what you're gonna do here, you're just gonna pull it tight. As you can see, I'm pulling it. And again, bent over row, just like that. You could also do this overhead, like a lat pull down. And the key here is just keeping tension the whole time. Time under tension is really great for body weight exercises. So those are two different pulling exercises that you can do. Next, let's go into our squat. So a very simple thing that you can do is just an air squat. So right here, just make it like you're sitting back in a chair. Go down to a depth that feels comfortable for you at your fitness level. Now you can make this higher intensity by doing a squat jump. That'll help get your heart rate up. Another thing that you could do is a Bulgarian split squat. And these are one of my favorite movements because it really works your quads, it works your glutes, a little bit of everything. And how you do that is you just use a couch, a chair, something like that. Put the top of your foot on the chair. And you wanna bring this back knee straight to the ground. So you, what you don't want, you don't want a ton of knee forward like this. You wanna think about a vertical shin. It can be a little bit forward, but mostly vertical. So that's how you set it up. This is great to get in unilateral work or single leg exercises so that it makes it a little bit more challenging when you don't have a ton of equipment. Now, if you have dumbbells, you can put dumbbells in your hand. That's a great way to add resistance, or you can just focus on time under tension. So that means you could slow down the movements. You could add in a pause like this. There are so many different ways to make it more challenging. So those are both squatting exercises. Now, let's go into hinge. So what does that mean? That means you're hinging at the hips and these types of exercises are gonna focus on the posterior chain. So this means your glutes, your hamstrings, all of those types of things on the backside of your body. So when we choose a hinging exercise, a great movement is the deadlift. Now, if you have dumbbells, you could do a dumbbell deadlift, you could do a dumbbell RDL, but if you don't have any equipment at all, you can focus again on the unilateral work, working one leg at a time. So for the single leg deadlift, that's gonna require a lot of balance and stability. So if that's too challenging, I'll show you a modification, but first let's just do the deadlift. So you're sending your hips back and then you're gonna have your body move forward, keeping your core tight and back straight. Just like this. You wanna think if there was a string that was pulling the top of your head that's gonna keep your posture as you hinge forward. Now, if that's too challenging to balance that, you could do a B stance deadlift. So that really is just using this back leg as a kickstand, and you're just tapping that toe there for balance. And do the same thing, hinge back at the hips, core tight as you hinge forward. You're gonna still feel that 
in your glutes, in your hamstrings, and it's a great body weight exercise that you can do to work on that hinging movement. Now, core, there are so many different things that you can do to work your core. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorites that also utilizes a little bit of high intensity to be able to get your heart rate going. So here I'm gonna show you plank jacks. You're just gonna get on the ground into a plank position. You really wanna focus on keeping your core tight so that you're not dipping down to the ground and you don't want your butt in the air, you wanna keep as level as possible. Start with your feet together, and then we're gonna jump your legs out into as if you were doing a jumping jack. So it's just gonna be like this, keeping your core tight. You're gonna really feel that. And the more you do it, the more you're gonna realize, oh, my heart rate is getting up. I'm getting a little bit of cardio through this as well. Now, last but not least, is a higher intensity exercise. Now, one of my favorite high intensity exercises is the sit through. And I love this because it's a little bit lower impact than some other options. So this is a great way that's a little bit more joint friendly, but it really works your whole body. You're gonna feel your heart rate go up, but you're also gonna feel a burn in your shoulders. You're gonna feel a burn in your legs. It's just an all around great full body exercise. So I'll demonstrate that for you. And then I'll also demonstrate an exercise that you can do as a modification, because this one's a little bit more challenging. So here we're gonna get into a bear crawl position. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up your right hand and kick your left leg through, keeping your leg parallel to the ground. Then you're gonna rotate again, left hand up, right leg through. And as you get more comfortable with this movement, you can kick up the intensity, and that's really going to get your heart rate up. And again, like I said, you're gonna feel a burn in your shoulders, you're gonna feel it in your glutes, in your legs, just about everywhere. Now, if you can't do a full sit through, or if you're working on that, a very simple modification that you can do is you can bear crawl side to side, you can bear crawl forward and backward, it's a great way to still be able to get lots of benefit if you're needing a modification. So those are a few different exercises that you can focus on to really build a full body workout. And remember, you wanna include a little bit of everything, a push, a pull, squat, hinge, core, and you wanna kick up the intensity. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking here and you can also check out my previous video right here. All right, thanks so much for joining, guys. I hope you feel a little bit more informed about how you can create your own full body workout. We'll see you soon.